నమస్కారం వెల్కమ్ టు సద్గురు దర్శన్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అబౌట్ ఫాదర్ అండ్ సన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ జస్ట్ టు మెన్ బీయింగ్ అకామిడేటెడ్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ హోమ్ when you were 8 10 your father was god like so this problem started after you became 15 16 when you want to be a man and there's not enough space uh, when we say family you know in italy family meant crime crime <laughs> yeah mafia was always referred to as the family family yes okay so in a way it's a kind of crime it is the most basic institution in the making of a society hmm. but it does not mean you must remain basic <laughs> because this is a biological identity that we have biology is a reality we can't deny it obviously this was in some way at least to certain extent our parents gave this to us one part of it at least today the way it is the way it looks is essentially because of them well yes. it was given to them by somebody else that's another point but to us it was given by them so it's a biological identity this limiting oneself to one's biological identity identity for an entire lifetime is uh, is a crime because it creates so many things in this country this country has suffered a lot from a long time just now you released the mahabharat uh, video entire mahabharat is family problem it is yes. dhritarashtra syndrome <laughs> we are still suffering my son is best no matter what even today we are suffering the same thing my son is best and he should become the king no matter what it's not Some just sons have been managed very well <laughs> so family is a basic identity that we are born with it's a wonderful thing when you're a child because without the family support you wouldn't be who you are today in many ways yes and exactly all do respect and regard and great respect for the family because human creature is born in such a way that as soon as you fall out of your mother's womb you're not ready to get up on your feet and do things like other creatures yes it needs a, a long gestation period before a man becomes a man or a woman becomes a woman there is a long period which where the incubation of family is most important and vital there's no question about that but you're supposed to grow beyond that identity but a whole lot of people just never grow beyond that identity for which they suffer and sometimes if they're born in certain places they make the entire nation suffer <laughs> Uh, you are supposed to grow out of that as a child it's most vital that you are identified with a family but as an adult you are supposed to grow beyond your biology because biology is the most basic identity one has to grow beyond that yes that's so having said that is it necessary that every father and every son has to have some kind of angst it is not about father and son it is just two men being accommodated in the same home <laughs> when you were 8 10 your father was god like So this problem started after you became 15 16 when you want to be a man and there's not enough space. Yes. This big exactly. man is occupying too much space. And that <laughs> man thinks this is my space and who's this? They can't recognize each other as father and son because okay. now there are there is no father and son there are two men in the same house and there's not enough space. This happens not just in human families. Every creature whether it's an elephant or a buffalo or whatever in every creature's life this happens. that there will be some friction and either the younger one goes out or the older one goes out this happens everywhere because this is not a problem between my father and son this is two men trying to share the same space and the same woman called mother to one and wife to the other <laughs> two men but that certainly breaks a very strong myth that this country is operated with because the problem was always meant to be two women uh, in the same house and you just changed it on his head which i believe is true <laughs> because i believe the problem lies in the fact that two men can't be accommodated no, it also happens between women in a different way yeah. but uh, women have a way of uh, covering their frictions in certain way they do it in a certain way in a feminine way yeah. men will do it in more <laughs> head to head on yeah <laughs> head butting is a man's way women's way is different she will do it differently but the friction happens the video explores the concept of an organic distance between a father and son the speaker seeks validation from sadguru regarding this distance the origin of the distance is questioned as each generation seems to repeat the same mistakes family is described as a basic identity and a source of support but it can also lead to conflict and suffering the long gestation period within a family 
can sometimes lead to individuals not recognizing each other as a father and son. Most of the decisions you make are because you are scared or worried about something. As a parent, you might be scared that if your children won't get a good education, they don't have a good future. I understand that far because there is no guarantee that everyone will be taken care of in our society. But things are getting better now compared to 20 years ago. The economy is growing, which means there will be more opportunities to earn a living. But what's most important is that your child chooses something they love to do. Even if it did not seem like uh, will make a lot of money, if they put their heart and soul into it, they can still have a good life. If you say you are friends with your children, but not only pretending to be their friend, to get what you want, then you are not a good friend. A real friend would care about making their children's life better. They would pay attention to how the child acts and thinks in different situations and know what they need. But right now, it seems like you are just following a set plan for their life. Like becoming a doctor or engineer. Really knowing if that is what they truly want or need. Here is an idea. Encourage your child to spend 30 minutes each day doing yoga. Yoga is a special tool that can help them do better in school and feel more balanced inside. It can make their brain stronger and help them concentrate better. Some smart scientists have even studied this and found that yoga can make the brain grow more than usual. So doing yoga can make your child smarter and more focused and they won't get as easily distracted. It can also help them handle their emotions better. If they do yoga for 6 months, they could gain an extra 2-2.5 two, two hours each day. And in one year, they could gain 4-5 hours each day because they will be able to do things more efficiently. And guess what? You can try yoga too. It can help you feel less worried and not to care so much about what other parents think. I don't think children are always innocent. Sometimes they can be mean if they don't get what they want. But what's special about children is that they can change and adopt easily. Adults can also learn from this and be flexible. It's not about being innocent or ignorant, but about being open to change. Some people say being like a child is good thing, but being an adult is important too. Even spiritual people sometimes say they want to become a, like a child. But would it be good if we stay children forever? We need to grow up and become adults because that's when we can truly experience and understand life. And here are 10 good parenting tips to help your children blossom. Tip number one, recognize the privilege. Having a children is a special and lucky thing. They are not something you own, but something you take care of and love. It's important to focus on their happiness and growth instead of expecting them to benefit you in the future. Tip number two, let them be. Let your child choose their path in life. Don't try to make them be like you or do things way you did. Encourage them to do something new and different. Something can make the world a better place. Tip number three, give them true love. Some people think that showing love to their kids means giving them everything they want. But that's not true. If you give them everything, it's not smart, right? When you love someone, you do what they need, not just what they want. And sometimes doing what's best for them might make you unpopular. But that's okay because you love them. Tip number four, don't rush them into growing up. A child needs to stay child and not rush to become an adult. Once they become an adult, they can't go back to being a child. It's great when a child acts like a child, but it's not a good if an adult acts like a child. So there is no need to rush growing up. 
make it a time to learn not to teach when you become a parent you can learn a lot from your child they know how to have fun and be happy and they can teach you how to do the same instead of just teaching them it's important to learn from them too tip number 6 nurture their natural spirituality children have the potential to be spiritual if they are left alone and not influenced too much by others usually parents teachers society and tv try to control them too much if we try an environment where this kind of control is minimized and let the child develop their own thoughts and beliefs they will naturally become spiritual without even knowing what that word means tip 7 provide a supportive and loving atmosphere if you show your children that you are always scared and worried they will feel the same way but if you show them happiness and love they will learn to be happy too so it's important to create a happy and loving environment for them tip number 8 maintain a friendly relationship instead of bossing the child around try to be their friend don't act like you are better than them but instead be someone they can easily talk to tip number 9 avoid seeking respect do you know how parents always want to find love with their children well some parents also say you have to show me respect but if you think about it besides being older and stronger what makes them a better person than you tip number 10 make yourself truly attractive children are influenced by many things like parents tv neighbors teachers friends and society they will follow what they think is best or most fun as a parent you need to be someone your child wants to be with most if you are happy smart and awesome they won't want to be with anyone else they will come to you for anything they need If you want to be a good parent you should first become a calm and loving person let's all work together to create a world where every child can reach their full potential and not feel so sad it will take some effort but it's worth it just paying for school is not enough we have shared sadguru's wisdom with you i hope you have heard many significant details regarding this subject in the video Write your opinion about this video in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Pranam.